The importance of knowing your rights at work cannot be overstated. Knowing exactly what is expected of both yourself and your employer while within their employment can often be integral to ensuring that you aren't treated unfairly. However, it would seem that the majority of UK workers are not part of any trade union and are unclear about their rights as workers. Joining us now to discuss new research and what people can do to find out about their own industry's union, a General Secretary of the GMB Union, Tim Roach, and CEO of UIA Mutual Insurance, John Craven. Thanks for joining us, guys. Pleasure. Uh, so I guess uh, if we could just start off, John, I'll ask you, uh, what did the research tell us about UK workers' attitudes towards unions and being part of them? Well, it showed us that two thirds of UK workers aren't um, members of trade unions currently. Over 90 percent of UK workers knew what a trade union was Mm. or is, and over 60 percent of them viewed them positively. But we just don't see that in membership. And that's that's a key message from today, because the benefits you can get from union membership are really, really valuable. Uh, Did these findings surprise you? They did, if I'm honest. The workplace protection, the findings that we found that people are working eight hours a week over and above normal working hours and over and above planned overtime yeah. are just unsustainable. So, Tim, uh, why do you think so many people aren't aware of their basic rights at work? you think it would be one of the first things most people look into? I think the strength of what the UIA mutual insurance statistics show us is, first of all, that there's an element of people who don't know their rights, uh-huh. but there's also an element of people who know that they are not paid for the extra eight hours a week that they're putting in, but yeah. don't know how to challenge it or don't feel confident of challenging it. And that's where trade unions come in. Because in the GMB, people who join us feel that they're part of something, that if something goes wrong, there's a sense of togetherness. And when you add into that, the GMB has an army of highly skilled, trained professional officers who will come in and work alongside you and assist you to put things right. Then they're the benefits of joining a trade union. So um, could you just give us a few more advantages of why people might want to look into their their own industry's unions, what kind of things they would get out of it on top of what you've just suggested? Well, I think, first of all, GMB membership has been growing for the last 10 years. That's bucking the trend because generally trade union membership is on a decline. The reason we're growing is, first of all, we're growing in terms of women and part-time workers. Women who work in school meals, for example, who feed our kids in schools, who come in early to prepare the food without getting paid, who stay when the kids go back into class without getting paid to put away the chairs and tables and clear up and wash up. That's not sustainable. And the reason those women come in early and stay late is because they care about the job. But they should be paid for it. In the caring environment, for example, if they're looking after an elderly dementia patient and it's their tea break, they don't just walk away. They do it because they care. But they don't get that time back and something has to give. But on the other side of it, the GMB has some fantastic working relationships with good employers who recognise that it's the workers who help to contribute to the wealth and success of the company. But the other bit is that it's trade unions that gave us the weekend, that gave us the five-day working week. It's trade unions that fought to ensure that people get paid holidays. It's trade unions, therefore, that will ensure that people get paid for every hour they've worked that they're entitled to. So wh- why do you think, uh, as mentioned in the research earlier, you sort of alluded to something just then, but why do you think so many people feel obliged to work longer and go beyond what's asked of them by their employer? I think people feel obliged to work longer. To a degree, it's because they care passionately about the job that they do. But then if you think about young people, young people are desperate to get work. They often end up working in casualised sector, fast food, for example, where they have mini hours contracts or zero hours contracts. They could be on a bus and they'll get a text on the way to work saying, we don't require you today. Well, that's not a way to, to treat people. How on earth can they plan in their lives? But when they do get to work, if they're asked to stay behind, they don't feel that they can just walk away because they feel that they'll get a text again saying, we don't come in anymore then. So this is where trade unions step in. We know workers' rights. That's our profession. And I'm saying you insure your car you insure your house insure yourself at work by being a GMB trade union member Mm. yeah I think that rings true for a lot of people that might be hearing this to be honest Um, so if so many people are working longer hours nowadays what what's the what do you find to be the general impact of that kind of lifestyle well for me it's um it's just not good business sense because you find people working longer hours their productivity falls their well-being decreases that has impact on absentee rates at work. It impacts their family life as well. And it's really just not a sustainable position. And this is where progressive employers 
need to work in harmony with their unions to resolve these issues. So just finally then, where can people go for a bit more information? Yeah, we carried out the research. It's all available on the UIA website, which is uia.co.uk. It'll have full details of the research we've carried out, details of all the union partners that we work closely with, and also details of the home insurance products that we supply to union members as well. Tim Roach and John Craven, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. Cheers.